from In Excess. That is Mr. Fire. We had a lovely message in from Renee on that there WhatsApp group saying, I might be of advancing years, but I do like this Ian Thompson that you're talking to. More importantly, I like his music. <laughs> there you go, Ian. So that's from Renee. Many thanks for that lovely message, Renee. I'm um, just hearing In Excess there. And it, it makes me think of the fact that obviously you gig all the time. I mean, at least twice a week, every week, pretty much, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I Well, as I say, I do it as a job now. So I do yeah. it a lot. I also find it hard saying no to people, which <laughs> my wife goes mad about. I'm like, I'm trying to fit 10 gigs in a day. And <laughs> uh, but I, I think I've become addicted to it as well. I feel, as I say, I feel guilty if I don't do a gig now. You know, like, like I haven't earned a night out if I don't have a gig. Yeah. It's so much better getting paid and being able to have a bit of a night out later on as well. Yeah. I, I get a kick out of it, and know? it's great because now you, cause you gig all over the island, don't you? Yeah. So it's at different places all the time and it's different people all the time. So it's not like I'm sat in the same room with the same people. Yeah. And I'm always throwing new bits of songs in. And well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, because, you know, you, you do keep refreshing your set don't you yeah. so so i mean is how how much time do you have to actually rehearse the songs and actually get new stuff in the set just through the week i i, I you know uh, i've got a part-time job a security job so sometimes i can just look on youtube if i get a bit of a time in work and just check out the songs and a lot of people now they um they they play the songs on youtube themselves so i don't have to figure out the chords anymore i can just watch somebody else and go ah when i used to have to sit painfully by, with a record and keep going what was that what was that now I don't. I can just see what they're doing. You know, if they're, yeah. if they're good musicians, they'll have the chords boxed off. So I've gone a bit lazy you now. But that's good. <laughs> I can learn songs quicker. So of... have you got any idea how many songs you've got in your repertoire now? Oh, I don't know. Hundreds. It's a lot, <laughs> isn't it? A lot, it? yeah. Because the different crowds as well, different audiences. Sometimes I play for old people and you've got to do a lot of the 50s stuff and 60s. Yeah. And then sometimes the younger people are there and they all want Oasis and, you know, Coldplay. So I have to do a lot of that. Um, so yeah, quite a lot. I've got. I've been playing a long time though. You know. I was saying though, I love the fact that because we were talking about how excited we are about TT, and there's so many excellent people coming over, mm. especially with that 1886 stage. Yeah, that is bonkers. You do a Jesse J in your set, don't you? I do a price tag. Yeah. Um, usually when girls are dancing, I'll throw it in then because they like that song. Yeah. So if they're up dancing, I'll usually throw it in around then. It's, it's a good one on the acoustic. To it's do. a real talent to gauge a crowd in that respect and mm. to keep them up once they're dancing, isn't it? It's a, That's it's a the tricky idea. thing to do. Keep them up, dance, yeah. and do all your fast ones when they're on the dance floor. Yeah. And then if you want to get you know, do a slow one, then it kind of gives them a chance to get back to the seeds. <laughs> yeah, and do you get to put any of your original stuff in when, you, when uh, you're gigging? Yeah, when the time's right, I will. Or yeah. if people are not really listening, I tend to throw them in because it doesn't really matter what I do then. There's no point me stressing over a, a, a big, powerful song. I can always just try out one of my own then at that moment. Um, but yeah, most of the time, though, people are out for a night and a drink and they just want something they know, really. Yeah. It's, it is a bit yeah, like that. Well, it, Marky B has been in touch. He does the party immediately after us. He said, Marky B loves Game Boy. All oh, right. Nice <laughs> He's one. played that a few times right. for you. Yeah, yeah. Nice he absolutely one. loves Game Boy. That pops up quite a lot. So you've, you've got fans over here, Ian. <laughs> you have. That's and cool. um, we're going to hear the single in a moment. We're going to play it for us live. So tell us, what are your sort of plans for recording and releasing stuff this year then? Well, as I've only just recorded this one, so I've not really got any plans to record anything else at the moment because um, it takes it out of me recording. Yeah. I have to keep going back to the studio and it's quite draining because you're listening to the song over and over again and getting every little bit. And it does, by the time I'm finished, I need a good rest from it. <laughs> but Jip's brilliant, you know, he's so patient because uh, I feel like one of these days he's going to really lose it. With... <laughs> but he never does. <laughs> he's, he's like recording with Jesus or something, you know, he's just like... It's okay, oh, man. he'll love that. Yeah. But he can't say that anymore because he's cut all his hair off. So. Well, yeah, but he's so peaceful. He just reminds me of that type of uh, yeah. character. But he makes it easy, you know, if I'm getting like, a, eh, what are we going to... Can we do this? Can we do that? And chop and change stuff because I did chop and change on this one a lot. But in the end, we got it just right, I felt. Oh, it's and fantastic, that, yeah. yeah um, and you will hear it, obviously, on Manx Radio a lot. It's on our B-list at the moment, so it gets regular play as a recorded version. We're going to get to hear it live in just a moment. But you've got plenty of gigs coming up, and in fact, you're gigging tonight? We're, yeah, me and the band are at the Queen's tonight, so we're going to play uh, some, some of my new stuff tonight as well. Um, uh, it's always a good gig there as well, yeah. the Queen's. Shout out to your band? The Ian Thompson Band. Yeah, and who's in it? <laughs> Well, tonight it's just three of us. It's me, Stan, on drums, and Pete Dixon on bass. Excellent, yeah. Um, Great players, both of them, so that's really good fun. And you've got, of course, we're all excited about TT. I yeah. take it you've got some good TT gigs under Quite your Quite a week. lot booked in um, some of Bushies. Dean Thompson Man are playing at Bushies. Also, our Beatles tribute band is playing at Bushies one day, Mangsicle Mystery Tour. 
And uh, we're doing one for the 1886 on Villiers Square when Jesse J comes over. So we might might be supporting her. <gasps> That's She's on the so same exciting. day as us. So. Are you going to play prize tag? Yeah, it might do, yeah, just to really annoy you. <laughs> How cool is that? What an opportunity to support someone as internationally huge yeah. as Jessie J. Yeah, I like Jessie J. You know, oh, she's she's, she's very energetic and she yeah. seems she doesn't seem like above a stealth either. Do you know what I mean? She's, yeah, she's And I like brill. that song, Price Tag. It's a good tune. Oh, it'll be a wonderful event, that really will. Well, Ian, it's always an absolute joy to have you with us. And of course, <clears> Manxical <throat> Mystery Tour as well, going great guns. There's no people are loving the Beatles tribute act yeah, as well. Yeah, going down well, yeah. Getting yeah. a lot of good feedback. I mean, yeah. part of it's the outfits. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we've started uh, <laughs> the first half. We kind of wear the dark black kecks and black tops but yeah. then we've been throwing the pepper jackets on for the second half yes because we go into the summer of love then the second half we do the it's sergeant pepper time yeah so just for something different we put the jackets on in the little orange shades and green shades and it uh, just gives everyone a laugh at our expense <laughs> I've, I've heard they're a bit warm but apart from that um well listen we're gonna hear now your stripped back version of the new single something better which is out now you can get it on all platforms can't you you can on iTunes or Bandcamp or Amazon or Spotify, which everyone seems to, you know, get songs. I love the way days. you say that, Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spotify. really cute. Ian, it's a pleasure. Uh, he's going to play us out now with an acoustic version of Something Better. All the best, and we will see you soon. Ooh. Temptation, I lose my self control. Every time I fall to the same desires, I sacrifice my soul. You know, I've wasted so many days, it hurts. Love brings a strange vendetta. No matter what I get from this life I look for something better Something better, something better than we know. Something better, something better we can grow. Something better, something better Something better, something better. No matter how I move to your beat, I never catch your rhythm. And just when I was finding my feet I had to find you with him You said you waited so many nights It hurts Love brings a strange vendetta No matter what we get from this world We search for something better Oh, something better, something better than we know. Something better, something better we can grow. Something better, something. Something better, something better than we know. Something better, something better.
better tomorrow.